Connor didn't like that I got overspray on the valve train. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I imagine most people will agree with me. Who? You know, the Facebook or YouTube consensus. My, it's not Facebook, Connor. It's YouTube. Uh, whatever. Uh, edit. We'll be editing that out. <laughs> I didn't get primer on these wheels. I hope you don't mind that. Yeah, it's gonna get painted. It's implement paint. Paint it. Martin Senior. Yeah, we'll just paint it again. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's, that's what the old timers did. Yeah, you just paint it. You don't spend your life painting it. You just paint it. Okay, so I mix up a little putty for this spot just because I don't like it. Ah. <laughs> I got a little spot putty here that I'm gonna mix up. It's older than dirt. You don't want me to scuff these down. I already did. I got that scuffed. But you want to scuff all This stuff I don't want to scuff, no. Because it's within 24 hours, you yeah. can spray it. Yep. You're going to spray it again. It's going to stick like crazy. Okay. Uh, down the sides, I want it to look nice, so I put a heavy coat on the sides. Connor, if you want to take some 220 and scuff down the sides of the hood, that'd be good. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a little uh, puttying. The 4.7 is like the 3.6, isn't it? The V8 version. It's not a... It's not no, a it's like minute. the 3.7. Like three seven, that's what I meant. The V6, three seven, right? I do have enough putty. Should I go ahead and put it on here? No. Put it on here or not? I don't know. Do what you want. Yeah, we can just leave this black. This part's got to be black anyways. Got this black coating on it. Let's see what you can guess. Oh man, it just, it just held up on me. It's like crap. Instantly, it does. Instantly. I got this thing here. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know how good that's going to come out. I kind of muffed it up a little bit. <laughs> so I got to cheese grate some of it off. Maybe I should have just left the damn dent. Hmm. Would have been one last dent we'd have to put in it later. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> one less dent to put in it later. That's funny. It's hard to do a contour around a corner. Hey, we're right there. Top no time without seeing it. 18 hours. 18 hours? Yep. We'll make it. We're close enough. You sprayed it at what? Probably just 3 o'clock, then we're right there. If we could spray it in an hour or so, we'd be really good. We can. We just gotta get busy. We just gotta get that stuff scuffed out and spray it. So I'm gonna wipe down the tank with that. Yep, uh, get that all ready to go. Should I wipe down the whole track and wax it? I don't think you have to. Just give it a dust off. Pretty clean, right? Pretty much we'll spray until the whole panel's done. Ah, uh, most of it, yeah. I'm gonna save a little for touch up. If I have to, we'll buy more paint. I mean, you know what's the nice thing about it? The paint's that crazy expensive, like most paints. I'm gonna buy the decals. Alright, I'm on eBay for like 30 bucks. Awesome. Gotta sand that down with some 220 counter, and then we'll hit it with some primer. Even spray can. I think I have a spray can of primer around somewhere. You know, that's why we worry so much about paint sticking. You get paint someplace you don't want it, try getting it off. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, we're obviously just hand sanding and not blocking it. From all the years of cutting no paint on it. So we're looking forward to using this for a parade piece, right, Con? Uh, yeah. Full float for the barbecue. I think that'll be, be neat. Yep. Well, ready to mix paint. Oh, so we gotta prime that, don't we? That was, ooh, that looks great, huh? Now, we gotta find some primer. So here we go with math again. It's an eight to two to one mix. I don't have that on my bucket. So we gotta do a little figuring. So we're gonna do 64, right? You mix the whole pot. Which is two quarts. Sure. We'll mix half a can. Uh-huh. So that'd be two quarts. And then if we do 64, so it's eight to two. Yep. That would be eight. So that'd be 16 ounces of the other stuff, right? Correct. Eight times and that, eight is 64, that, yep. Yep. So we're multiplying everything by eight. Right. And uh, that'd be six, so, six, so that's 16. 16 plus 64 is 80. Equal to 80, so put a line at 80. So that's, that's our other mark. Yeah, that's our second mark. And then 88's our next mark. 
Then 88. Right? And then I'm going to mark it on here so hopefully I don't screw it up. Yes. 88 is the hardener. Correct. All right. So, luckily, so we got 64 and 80 and 88. Luckily, we can math right. Wow. Wow, what math. So now we're going to just mix up the paint. Yeah, you mask. So I'm cleaning up the nozzle, make sure all the holes are open. This is the old, this is the gun. I put up a, a video on this gun from Harbor Freight. We tried it out, we kind of liked it. I mean, I think it's, I forget what it costs, 32 bucks or something stupid. So it's not shooting straight though, I can see that. I don't want a weird pattern. So I'm gonna have to take the nozzle off. It's shooting up. I'm gonna have to take that off and clean it up. This thing is hard to paint. There's so many nooks and crannies, it's just crazy. You know what, it covers pretty good with one coat. You know, we need a touch-up gun. I should have thought of that. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> crazy, how many different little spots. You gotta get the whole inside of the wheels too, probably now would be a good time to get them. Yep. That paint's actually going a long way. We haven't reloaded the gun yet, so. No, we haven't. <laughs> and the Harbor Freight gun, this is what, the third paint job with it? Is it the third? I think it is. Or, well, I painted, I just painted the inside of the hood and stuff. Kind of don't want to give me the gun back. He says, uh, it's awesome. It's pretty thin and it does run easy. This is where I sprayed this hood here. It doesn't look too bad, it looks a little pocky. See where that's coming through, but that's kind of why I did that. I want, I want to wind up with three coats on that, those two spots. But I already got to run there, which is ugly. I took it off with some masking tape and I'll try to blend it out. Just dawned on Connor, he had a headlight in his pocket. Then I put the headlight on his head and now he's seeing more spots. <laughs> Doing more touching up before we put the second coat on. Well, it's hard to get in all those little nooks and crannies, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to not spray things that I'll hit before I get in there, so. Work your way from the inside out is what I'm doing. Right. Well, I'll do the hard parts first, I guess. Yeah. I bet a lot of guys only do one coat, because it looks like it's covered in one coat, but of course, we're doing two. It wants us to paint the only on a cross hatch, but I don't know how you would do that, because we're going in every direction now. Cross hatch. Yeah, don't get runs. But you know what? The uh, second coat doesn't make up for a bad first coat. Okay. Yeah. You know that. Bad first coat? <laughs> oh, this looks great. I can't complain. Especially since I don't have to do it all. <laughs> oh, you haven't even got to the small parts yet over on the table. No. You're only on your second cup though, so we'll be mixing up more. You have it there. What'd I say? <laughs> oh, you ran out? The paint is thin, that's for sure. It's a thin kind of paint. It is thin. But boy, is it sticky. I thought it's sticky, yep. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, uh, let you know how it comes out. <laughs> 